Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of my Let's Play series. I'm so excited. Okay, in the last episode, we ended off finding the ruined portal, and I said that I needed to go mining like a million times. That's still true. I still have stone tools. I do have an iron pickaxe, though, so we're about ready. I'm going to take my water buckets, and I have 14 cooked cod. You know what? That might be okay. I'll, I'll, I'll drop off a few things. I just have to find a place to go down, and I think I saw a hole right over here. I did! Perfect. Okay, we're gonna mine here. Hey, there's some iron. This could potentially be a really cool spot to start up some type of, like, little mining build with, like, a crane or something. The water is right there. This is cool. I, I hope it actually goes somewhere. Please let this not be a dead end. Oh, it's a dead end. Okay, well, you know what? We're not giving up. I hear a lot of things... And I'm hoping this is a good sign. Okay, this is level 11, so this is where I should be mining. I'm gonna try and find that lava, wherever it is. Oh! I found it. Wait, is that ocean? Hang on. Oh, it's one of these. Okay, I'm wildly unprepared for this. Yeah, not ready. Not ready at all. Uh, that's cool though, but that's not where the lava is coming from. So let's keep going. Ah! I found the lava. I did it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is perfect! Okay, where's my water? Hey, creepy. What you doing? I've fought your kind before. Please go away. Oh, stone swords suck, don't they? Okay, there we go. Thank you. Um, right. Where are we? Ooh, lots of iron. Good, good. Okay, this is a good start. You know what? While I'm down here, let's actually start up a little smelting area too, since I don't have full iron gear yet. Oh my gosh, this is kind of a cool cave. Wow, I haven't like been properly caving in quite a while. I did a lot of strip mining on the last survival series I played, so this is cool. I hear a witch. That's much less cool. And I got the rest of my iron armor. Perfect. I do, I do also want a sword before I go and figure out where that witch is. I feel like that's a little important. Hey, I'm feeling much more prepared now. Let's uh, let's go witch hunting. Oh, this lava goes a long way. Yes, these are my favorite types of caves. <gasps> I found her. I found her. Hey, what you doing? Let's uh, you're really not putting up. Oh, okay, okay, she poisoned me. All right, that's not good. I hate poison. Okay, I'm fine. Back to mining. <gasps> no. No way! Oh. My heck. What? Two? What? Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. Diamonds! Yes! Diamonds! Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. How many have we got? Two? Two? Three, okay, <gasps> four, yes. Okay, I need to check under here. Okay, we're good. Oh, <gasps> wait, five. I'm really scared there's gonna be lava. No, there's not, okay. <gasps> Six, what? I just got 11 diamonds. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, that is so lucky. I feel like the luckiest person around. Oh my gosh. All right, now I need to go back to mining coal. Alrighty, well that is most definitely enough mining for me. I have about all of the riches that I'm going to need to finish what I want to do today. So let's return. All right, so end of the trip, I was mining for like 15 minutes maybe. This is what I got. All right, definitely going to get some of this iron smelting now. That should do it, and I think now that we're all properly geared up, let's go ahead and feed our cows and then go on a little adventure. I haven't actually explored the seed very far, so I think it's important to do that. Here you go, cows. While I'm here, I am going to make a quick travel bed as well, just, just to keep with me. You never know when you're going to want to sleep. Right, okay. Now where do I want to go? Last time I explored, I went that direction towards the jungle and I found a ruined portal over there. So I think this time I'll go the opposite way. I'll go along the shore this way. This seed is just so incredibly beautiful. 
the all these forests meeting in different areas and all the little plains in between all the dark oak forest oh my gosh it's just lovely i love it that's there's purple over there that's a ruined portal do you guys see that i wish i could zoom in right now for real though look at our home look at it oh my gosh <laughs> what a view oh my goodness i can't wait to build up this area forest in the fog our home it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous anyways here's a portal that i found um this is so cool the underwater one is way cooler but i mean what the heck this is awesome what do we have flint and steel obsidian okay we're actually going to need that when we go in we have a bell and a clock i need to get out of this dark oak forest you can't really see the whole seed from in here though it is very very pretty definitely one of my favorite biomes hey sunflower forest oh and a village yes that is what i needed i really need to get like carrots and potatoes and stuff going for a better food source while my cows are still like breeding so this is awesome. I know I keep pointing out how amazing the seed is, but how can you not? It's so gorgeous. Hello, sheep. Right, okay, let's see. This looks like a really big village. Whoa, what's over there? That's a more crazy terrain in the background. My gosh. Hey, what you doing? What you got? Bricks. <gasps> You're going to be so useful to me. Wow. Okay, cool. You have a nice home. Hey, what are you doing? Cartographer. Empty map. Oh, there's... Wait, there's floating sunflowers. What have you got? Paper. I need that for bookshelves. Cartography table. Very cool, sir. Whoa, look at where it opens up into. There's a swamp over there. It's a really beautiful village. I like it here. This one has 20 wheat for an emerald. Hey, I can actually do that one. Huh. Give me an emerald. I want an emerald. There we go. What a deal. Thank you. Very cool. Okay, I'm done. Got a carrot. Okay, I'm gonna just take a carrot and a potato. I don't want to completely pillage this village. <laughs> I might want to use it in the future, so I don't want to destroy it, and I might get out of the render distance before night falls. Oh, they have a fountain. I really like this. You know what? Maybe this is something that we can transform in the future. It's really pretty, and it's in a really nice location. I like it. All right, future ideas, future ideas. But for now, I think it's about time we go in a different direction. Also, this whole plains biome is a sunflower plains, which is incredible. I don't know if I've ever seen one this large. It's all sunflowers. You know what? While we're out here, I know I have my own cows, but this is pretty far from home. So I'm gonna start collecting a little bit of leather and some meat on these guys. Taking a quick pit stop back at home to drop off some of the supplies that I just got, start farming that potato and carrot, and also cook some of the meat that I just collected. Okay, just for right now, I'm gonna plant the carrot and potato in these beds, but once they grow up and we get more of them, I think I'll make a lot more of these circle beds, maybe like all along the coast here, we could have different houses with them. Food's done, perfect. This will be a little bit better. It's nice to have a proper source of food. Oh, and my iron's done. All right, well, now that that's done, let's actually make some proper iron tools. The next step for me is to actually go and explore the nether. I mean, that's what's needed next, right? There's not a whole lot else to do. I think it's about time. This is the Minecraft 1.16 update after all. So diamond pick has been made. Um, I have one piece of obsidian. I think I might fix up that underwater portal. So let's go down and get a little bit more obsidian just in case we need it and uh, go from there really boring early game obsidian collection so riveting right i got eight pieces surely that'll be enough right oh it's nighttime. all right that's fine you know what we're gonna stay up tonight it'll be our first night staying awake and uh see if we can't collect some mob loot it might actually be a good thing you never know okay or I'll just end up blowing up my in terrain. Great, okay. All right, fun's over. But you know what? I did actually get enough for a bow. So that's perfect. And maybe if I can find some chickens, I can make an arrow. 
I think. Uh, yeah, so I have six arrows. Not bad. Five flints. Let's go see if I can kill a chicken. You know what? I've actually not seen a chicken yet. I found a chicken! I've been wandering around for like five minutes trying to find one of your kind. Dude, not cool. One feather. Okay. Not that helpful, but I'll take it. Arrows. Okay, we got 18 arrows and a bow. You know, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. Should definitely leave anything valuable here, and also I definitely need the golden helmet. That's going to be super important. I don't think I need anything else. Flint and steel? I just remembered one of the most important things. We have to make a hopper because the piglins get really mad if you take anything from them. So hopefully this will let me do that. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go or if I'm even going to find anything, but it's worth it being prepared. Ladies and gentlemen, off we go to the nether. All right, so our portal is just over here, I think. Yeah, right below us. Oh dear. Okay, so here's the game plan. I don't think we can light this with it being underwater like this, but, oh gosh, I'm being sucked down. Um, I gotta get rid of the crying obsidian and I need to put dirt all around it to get air and then I think it'll stay lit once I do that. So these air bubbles are going to be super handy. <laughs> cool. Okay, so let's get this crying obsidian first. Am I going to drown trying to get this? Um... <laughs> oh my gosh, is this even possible? Am I wrong about this? <gasps> but I got it. Whoa. <laughs> Who is cutting onions? Hey, is that a new one? Obtain crying obsidian. Very cool. I want to look at these. So we have bring summer clothes for the nether, which I don't have, but we have obtain crying obsidian and charge a respawn anchor to the maximum. Interesting. So we're going to be able to actually do stuff with that. So that's really cool. Um, first though, we have to work on getting in there. So let's kind of fill this with dirt. And also we can drop off my valuables here too. Okay. I just have to fully commit, fully commit. Do that. Fill this all in as much as possible. Huh, I did it. This is, this is all air. Sorry, it's super dark. Huh, see, it's all air. It's time. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to do something other than a dirt box down here. Uh, I do understand that. But for right now, I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous. Oh, ah, okay, okay, okay. What have we got to lose? <laughs> oh my goodness it's gorgeous okay i have we're in like the literal most dangerous biome that we could have spawned in so i'm gonna quickly make a little box around my portal because holy ghasts okay i don't know if this is super safe but it's a good start oh my goodness guys it's actually gorgeous it's so dangerous. Look at the delta. That's a delta, right? And we can get we can get this for soul fire. Look at the new recipes unlocked. <gasps> this is going to be beautiful. All right. Well, what am I waiting for? I guess it's time to explore this place. The new Nether sounds are so spooky. I actually love them. It feels so nice being in here there's so much atmospherics there's so many sounds the particles the blocks everything okay so the issue is i know if i go up there okay first of all skeleton hey we're not friends um there's gonna be ghasts i want to get over there but then i have to deal with magma so i think i've spawned in about probably the worst spot that i can but i'm gonna make it work okay oh i hear a ghast this is very not good. I'm tunneling upwards just to see what's up here. Oh boy, oh boy. Hey, yeah, you don't see me yet. Let's keep it that way. What do we got? What do we got? I'm scared. Guys, I'm sorry I'm playing like such a wimp, but uh, I mean, it's gorgeous. What the heck? Minecraft, who gave you this permission to be this gorgeous? Okay. 
Hang on, let me mark where I'm going. Look at this, we can get magma, we can get blackstone, we can get basalt. Oh, the options that we have, I love it. I'm officially deep into a delta and I see some normal nether. So I know it's boring, but I'm actually gonna try to traverse that instead to get to some different biomes. I just wanna see what we have around, you know? Hey, can we be friends? I don't have any gold for you because I'm dumb and I didn't bring any. Okay, we're fine. They don't like it when you take gold, I don't think, so I'm not going to. You can let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about that. The Delta biome is really hard to get around. I'm not sure if I'm even going to be able to. Whoa! What is that? Oh my gosh! Hi! Oh my goodness! This is epic! Okay, so there is a chest here. I don't think I'm allowed to open chests with these piglins around, so I am going to try the hopper trick. Oh, please let this work. What do we have? Obsidian, a hoe, a fire charge, and actually that's pretty good. Okay. Oh gosh, hi Magma. I really honestly want nothing to do with you, I promise. Oh gosh. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh, why can you jump this high? Wait! Whoa! That's not okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, okay, you know what? You know what? Hard pass on the nether. Hard pass. I'm going home. That's- I'm good, actually. Whew! You know what, though? That actually shows that they did a really good job with this update, because I used to be able to go in the nether episode one or two and have an easy time. Like, whatever loot I wanted was mine. I could almost have a blaze farm up and going. I can barely traverse that nether now without, like, feeling really bad about the potential of dying. So, I think it's about time that we focus on getting some enchantments and getting properly prepared, and then we'll venture back and properly get some materials and stuff. Still though, I feel pretty good about today's loot. Got some new building stuff, got some quartz. It's all good. Okay, you know me though, I just have to make some soul fire stuff. Soul fire torches, I mean, are you kidding? That is awesome. Let's turn a couple of those into the lanterns. Ah, yes, beautiful. And while we're at it, let's use some of that and make a campfire. I think that's how we do it. Oh, we probably need sticks. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is going to be so useful for building. I, I can't even wait. Um, let's actually use some right now. There we go, hanging off of a fence. I couldn't do a chain there. I almost forgot about that, but I think for right now, a fence is perfect. Ah, that makes me so happy. I think it's time to continue with some of our farming. The cows are getting to a point where I can finally get enough leather for enchanting, and now I'm needing some other animals like sheep, where I'm going to use their wool for some building later down the line, so I'd like to get that started. Hoping I still have some around. I do. Okay, you guys stay here. I I'll be right back. All right, sheep pen acquired. Little smaller than my cow one, but that's okay. We don't need as so many sheep. Hey, sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Hey, hello. Friends. Come, come. It's like having my own little set of ducklings. I feel like a mother goose. Or duck. Uh, right, come on. In we go. Everybody in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Perfect. Now I'm gonna breed to get gray. There we go. Yay! Look, they're so cute. Okay, so we already have so many colors. We do need some more colors though. And you know what? One of the most important colors for me when building around here is green and also cyan because cyan matches the warped wood. So I think in preparation for that, we should go out and find a desert. This is meant to be an exploration episode after all, and what kind of explorer would I be if I just left out that little detail? So, when I went out earlier today, I went this way, and after that village, there was a savanna that we could see way in the distance. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can find some cactus in that direction, and maybe some other fun stuff. Now that's a big lava fall. Uh, that's scary. Okay, forest fire alert. Oh, look, there it is! There's the desert, I did not expect it. This whole savanna was like blocking my view. Wow, we and we have a temple as well. That's perfect. 
cactus, don't mind if I do. And some sand so I can farm that cactus. Man, this is some funky terrain going on here. What the heck is this generation? <laughs> That's crazy. All right, let's, let's go in here. All right, careful of the pressure plate. Careful, right, perfect. We'll go get that TNT. Two saddles! Oh, we could get a horse! Oh my gosh, yes! <gasps> no way! Diamonds, blast protection, that's perfect for the nether. Iron, gold horse armor. Wow, what a lucky find. Gold. We do need some gold, so I'm happy about that. All right, that is some really good loot, if you ask me. I'm 10 out of 10 okay with that. A another village! I was just doing a little bit of exploring of the savanna since we can kind of loop around these hills this way to get home as well. And there's another village! And this one is so cool! Hey! There's a- what? What? Oh my gosh! There's a chest! Iron tools! Oh, I'm so glad we found this now! This is such a good time to be finding these iron tools because we're actually using iron. We're not using diamond yet. All right. Good. What can I drop off? I don't need the rotten flesh. These savanna houses are amazing. I love the way that they look. The fact that the cartographer is up on stilts. Look at all the different shapes. This is definitely the most original of the villages. It's so cool. Whoa, another saddle. What? This is one of the best villages I've ever had for loot. There's so much here. Okay, this was very, very useful. Time to go home. I found some horses. Hey, do you want to be my friend? Oh, I have to have an empty inventory. Sorry, I forgot. Here. Can we be friends? We can't? Can we try again? Oh, we can't? Please? Please. I asked nicely. Come on. My best Canadian voice. Please. Oh, yes! It worked. I knew it would work. Thank you, horsey. Hey, look, I have some gold armor for you as well. Okay, can I pick back up my meat that I dropped? <laughs> Here we go. Friendship, adventures time. What am I gonna name the horse? I need some horse names suggested in the comments. Please and thank you. If anyone was wondering how close these things were, there's my home, there's the savanna. They're pretty close together, actually. It's not too far or crazy to be able to connect any of this together with builds. I think it would be really doable. Home sweet home. All right, horse, you get to live with the sheep. You're welcome. I would like to take a moment towards the end of this episode to actually just say thank you for all of the amazing support on episode one and also respond to some comments. Because although I didn't spoil anything about the build ideas that I have in the last episode, I can tell that we are all on the same page with what we want to see in this world. And that is so incredibly exciting to me. I'm so ready to be working in this world and building it up. I know this episode was a bit explory and we didn't even get too, too far in the nether, but I definitely have lots of plans to be building in the nether for sure. The other thing I will mention in response to the comments is that this is full vanilla. I don't even have fire tick off at the moment, but if that is something that I need to turn on for builds in the future, I'm not opposed to turning it on in the files if I have to, but you know, for right now, we're just playing full vanilla. My plan for these next couple episodes is to build up this entire area. I need things like an enchanting setup, a sugarcane farm, a cactus area, um, some super smelters maybe, a mining entrance, stuff like that that you need in the early game. I'm going to build up this kind of area around here and see if I can't get it looking really, really pretty. And this will sort of be our starter area. Once our starter area is ready and this theme is sort of complete, we'll move on to other areas. Like for example, we may go to the village over there, or we may go to the jungle and do something in that theme, or we may go to the mega taga and do something in that theme. And then we'll eventually be able to sort of connect everything all together. And it doesn't have to be all in like this medieval theme. I would like to experiment with a few different styles in this series and see where it kind of goes. Oh my gosh. I was, I was talking. That's what, ah, rude. 
my gosh. Anyways, everyone, that is going to be all for me in today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying my Let's Play series as much as I am enjoying filming it. It's been a lot of fun and I can't wait to release more of these. This isn't going to be a daily series, by the way. I'm not putting out videos daily. I feel like that's a little bit too much to keep up with when you're a viewer, but I will be putting them out probably twice a week to start and it may increase or decrease depending on how hard the builds we are doing. Not going to be any particular schedule, but they will be regularly uploaded. So subscribe if you want to see more and keep up with me. Thanks so much everyone. Bye bye.